Hey, everybody. It's Full Spectrum Cycling. This is show number 203 by my count. 203. May not be correct, but that's what we're going with. And we're in the uh, white room with Black Curtain Studio here at uh, Everyday Cycles. It's JK. Hello, everyone. And I love you. And Tony, I wasn't sure Tony was going to make it. I today. wasn't planning on being here, but my Tony's daughter here, has though. to be picked up early. Tony, you, you yeah. And those is like you're, three you're weeks doing in a the row. Thing. Like, oh, I'm here. I'm not three weeks in a row. Oh, I've oh, like oh, yeah. this uh, shit. Yeah, you're. I'm coming. I'm not well, coming. I'm, I'm doing there. my bestest. Next no, time, oh, you I, just are just a flirt. Thanks for being. You're a beer. damn flirt. I'm a damn. Is. I'm, I'm, I'm a flirt. You're a flirt. <laughs> you know, my bike ride's a lot longer home because I keep forgetting. Forgetting what? I go to the old Your house bike? first. Oh. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> I'm not here, and I keep going. How's the new house coming along, Tony? Yeah, slow, slow, but moving forward. Yeah, I you, do. You can take a shower in I'm, the place now. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We we are fully in the house. We just got to finish getting the old house empty and cleaning it for the next. To, for Dan, who we've serviced can his I bike still, a few times. Can I still pee underneath the thing in case the bathroom isn't working? Pee under? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about, but no. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't It'll ask be you fine. to pee anywhere. Yes, but... in the backyard. Oh, well, that was fine. Yes, everyone. I want during to the River West 24, I you want to pee. pee in your backyard, Tony. Yeah, yeah. during I mean, the River West 24, all rules are off. If you have well, to pee in my no, backyard, it's not you pee. during. When it's, in doubt, whip it out. You got to run. I am just back. saying, in it's a not, bike race. Yo. Well, no, I'm not even saying during the bike race. I'm saying off oh, the bike race. No, then you can't do that. <laughs> yes. No. no, it was right there. All my urine is stored there. Mm hmm. Speaking of storing <laughs> urine in the River West 24. <laughs> Uh, Dan, you know Dan Dahl, River West Twenty Four mm-hmm. participant. Yes, that's and, normally where I store beer. And the whole beer and the whole water. family, the Dahl, the Dahl, the fam, Dahl family does do the Twenty Four. The Dan and the Stacy uh, and the Dan's band oh. Astral Hand has a an album out. Oh album sweet! Out. Oh, I didn't realize he was part of that. I listened to right the, the I listened to it before on, the man. show. It's it's uh, there's a link in the show notes. It's sweet. I, psychedelic space rock. Fuck yeah! It's, yeah. It's I did not. I, I didn't know Dan was part of that. Dan makes the banging of the skins, I believe. Mm. Fucking I would awesome, like to awesome, hear awesome, the banging awesome, of the awesome. skins by Dan. Yeah, we'll have to talk to him. Maybe we can get him on the show, and he can Dan. throw us a throw us a song to throw at the end of the show. Come on the show, or I'll just buy uh, like, the album and put it on there. That's what I did. If you'll with. allow. Him, 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 on, him and her his dad is like about four blocks away from here. <laughs> I'm just like I think Dan moved knock, to a knock, new place. Knock, 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 knock. Oh, hey, yeah. come here. Yeah. <laughs> Dan's Dan's dad right down the street on no shit. Humboldt. Yeah. Speaking of Humboldt, now I've got a segue to Humboldt over there. Holy, I don't know what's going on on that street right now. Well, it's the what Working generational progress. upgrade. Yeah, but is that what they call it? They, it's kind of a nightmare. So they're moving everything whoa, to the whoa, east whoa, lane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. But whoa, whoa, whoa. already half of the dividers are already mowed down. Well, those are people. <laughs> I mean, that's Milwaukee. What do you expect? Ah, people drive like idiots. So. Well, so it's going to be done this year, though. Supposedly. Should be done in time Supposedly? for the 24 or nah. Both lanes? I don't know. Both sides? Maybe. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. That would be calendar nice. year? Sure. By the calendar year, maybe. But yeah, for but, sure. Yeah. Ish. But yeah, I, I think. Bang, cool. bangity, bang. Top of the hill. And we got to the top of the hill quickly today. Yep. Mm. So I think, I think uh, Tony and, and JK have already ridden up and down a few hills today. Just making sure everyone's. No, I've only on. had a couple, but I haven't. Well, no, I, I, ah. I threatened you guys with this earlier, and then I saw it available. And oh. An- another three Floyds that has an excellent label. Ah, 8.5. On the El Cahuzzi. yes, it's a big boy. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a big boy. It is zombie ice. Zombie ice. It's the big brother of zombie dust. Yeah, it's I got a very, very, very drinkable, which yeah, is I got what's a very caramely thing it. right off the bat. It's like, whammo, it's nice. Yeah. And citra hoppy the hell out of the hops, I think. This is going to make you feel really bad tomorrow. Unde- mm. Undead double pale ale. Undead yeah. double pale yeah. ale. That, I'm yeah. going to have one of these, and that's it. 
Oh, okay. okay. More for me then. Just, uh, yeah, That's you are just, welcome to that because I want my headache. Yep. What? <laughs> so, <laughs> so you can watch Mandalorian tomorrow. I'm still. I already watched. Off the I already canal. watched it. I grudge fucked it. The first one. The first. First two. Oh, is the second one out now? Yep, 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 yep. Nobody oh. can spoil it for me. I have to <laughs> catch it tomorrow. But now the, the first there's one, there's nothing to spoil. It's still a goddamn fucking gaming tutorial. This is what you do. This is what you do when you play a game. This is what you do when you look and you look at a map. I shit you not. It, it, somebody told me wrong. Uh, <laughs> well, the first episode of the third season was just kind of rehashing everything that's already happened. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, saying, but yeah. but acting like a tutorial of a video game. I'm waiting for it to get better. Blah, blah, blah. No, and then in the middle of the goddamn fucking second episode, this is where you look at the map, and then you look over here. I'm like, fuck you. Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> you yeah. have no idea what you guys are talking about. Have you ever played a video no. game on a, ever anything? Ever. Get the H out of here. I played Atari. That's a video game. Yeah. That's well, speaking of Atari, yes. I think we okay. have an Atari out in the hallway there. Really? Okay. Adventure. Yeah. Adventure. No. Adventure. You take the block, the block, and then you take the thing, and then you bang the thing to get through the goddamn door. Mm. Never heard All of right. It's a kid's show here today. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers see Jesus. It's a child show. I think uh, Schlebowski's going to call in in a few minutes, Seely Dave. But uh, before he calls, before he calls in, but. do you remember just about a week or two ago how I was wondering if Trek is going to keep making fat bikes or they're just going to whore out the ones yeah. they got left? Yeah, last week. Guess what? They're making fat bikes. They're making a new fat bike. See? It's they actually, probably listen to you. Yeah. Well, thank God someone does. Oh, is it um, I'm kidding. They weren't listening. To you. They're no. not making fun of Chris Farley this time. No, it's still a Farley, but it's it's rede- redesigned more of a renamed. Is it re-branded? carpet fiber? It's st- no the what the carpet fiber one stays the same because okay right, aluminum. It's an aluminum bike packing expedition. Yeah, you gotta yeah, check the picture out of the winter edition. It's really so it's cool. more of a a, a bike a useful, packing a useful bike fat bike than a yeah. okay. I think it's that's more cool. yeah, which in all right, you know, you know, I guess that's okay. Which in mm. in some of our areas right, here okay. could make it a right. four season good okay. bike. Okay. Speaking of, uh, speaking, speaking of, of, okay, I, I can push, I take a moment of pause? Push the button. Um, oh, I'm just saying, just push to give guidance to the fucking women. It's Shh. National Women's Day, oh, International Women's true. Day. It's true. The and fucking women. That's how you're going to go into that. Yeah, one. that's right. yeah. That is how we went into <laughs> well, that I one. Guess. Well, hey, man, the reason we're here is from fucking women. So. Ooh. Oh, 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 man. Not sure that's how you want to well, yeah. No women Wednesday. listen to the show. Well, Wendy listens to the show. She was laugh- laughing last Not week. Fuck it. Anyway, I feel God. what you're saying. I, Jesus. It's how, it's how you emphasize things. Hi, Wendy. All right, I'm pushing the button. You guys are getting what? off track here. Welcome to the radio program, caller. Don't, Who do we have on the line? Don't be a drag. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Sealy Dave. Sealy Dave. Dave. Resuscitate me. <laughs> hey, Sealy Dave. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing well. Doing well. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing well. We just uh, just sort of introduced the idea of the new Trek, I, I, the new fat bike. No, which, I listened last week. You, I listened last week. You guys said they're getting out of the market. I, I, did, I was sort of saying more like <laughs> we hadn't really heard anything to say they weren't just going to sell out the remaining stock. But then guess what? This week we did. Did you know this before? Right, like I literally think it was the day after that they released. The <laughs> well, they they were listening. They to obviously Greg. listened to the show because they whipped that one up. All in a hurry. these literal <laughs> names. <laughs> Maybe you prompted them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it was. We that have far more impact than that. we think. Right. I'm yeah. certain they got up in the morning, <laughs> listened to the show, and they're like, "Oh crap, we Holy can make a fat bike. We can 3D Full print spectrum. a prototype <laughs> right away." Right. Totally. Well, what do you? Uh, you had a chance to look at it, Dave. What do you think? I, I'm kind of. It actually, I think they seen, did a good job. I've not seen one in. I haven't seen one in person, but it, it's very reminiscent of their 1120 and the racks on their 1120. You guys know I like those racks because I've sort of 
copied a version, a lightweight version for my rear, you know, customer chainstay racks, um, based on that 11 original 1120 rack. These fat bike ones seem a little bit beefier. Um, I'm not sure about the front one. I, I think they've got a a great lineup here with the 9.6, um, carbon that they did, that they still kept like the three pack mounts and stuff. So like, you know, if you want to get your race bike, but you want to take it occasionally on bike packing trips, you still can. Yeah. I, I see no reason why these bike companies eliminate three pack racks on carbon forks. Um, you know, the gravel bikes companies, a lot of them do the same thing. Envy, most of their forks don't have, the, why not just put those on it? Um, makes it so much more worthwhile if you never i mean the days i think the days of when you showed up at a at a mountain bike race and somebody looked at your your mountain bike and saw rack mounts and like gave you like the side eye or something i think those days are gone yeah because it because it added some extra weight with that little grommet or that little eyelet in there (laughs) or maybe there was a little more wind resistance with it uh yeah right that's the only way you could drop weight back then but now we've got you know bird spokes and carbon rims and every you know tubeless tires and everything else so you know i think who uh your your backyard fat bike guy uh last show or whatever was talking about his his fat bike weighs 24 pounds you know yeah yeah nathan's kind of nutsy Um, about that so yeah that's awesome so yeah so i think trek is really smart in the way they they did this the only thing is just me I'm a steel is real guy. I've got this weird thing about aluminum. I know, I know planes are flying around all over the place, but I just, aluminum, it it isn't sexy to me. And I also have this weird metallurgical mental thing in my background. Like every ride, it dies a tiny death. Yeah. 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 Cause it it does have a fine, it does have a finite life. Um, well, I, I get it though that you can make the frames cheaper. It comes in at a better price point even than steel, which I, I, I well, don't, don't care. Really understand you why can, that is? But all I the hydroforming and everything. Don't care. So stop what, driving a yeah. car if that's a big deal for you. How much aluminum's in your car? Well, I'm, I'm just saying. Lots. I mean, if you're that concerned about riding a steel bike versus an aluminum bike, I mean. Just cut it all out of the picture. Yeah. Sell your car and ride or I either have, one and not care, but or have still a car. ride the steel bike. Or yeah. have a car as a I know. I'm just being weird about it. I, I agree it, with you, Dave. Totally. I, I totally mean, agree of, with but you. But part of owning a bike is something that you like, you, you get it's a you part know, of jazzed you. about, and I just don't, I don't get jazzed about aluminum. You. But that said, it's a great frame. Yeah. Looks like. Well, another good thing about this to me is that their commitment to whatever, however many more years, is that we'll still be able to get yeah. fat bike tires because I started to get worried about people not making yeah, fat so bike they tires should anymore. Start make more. I mean, obviously, well, there'll still be some. Not the baby plus. Not the baby plus. Twenty-seven five. Oh, is, is it? Yeah, it's twenty-seven five oh, yeah. by baby, four and a half. Baby fat. Yeah. It's a. I so, don't know. It. You, uh, what did did you go with it on your new build or did you go stay with twenty six? I stayed with twenty six uh, for Atta my boy. my um my Milwaukee bicycle company Buckshot. Yeah, that's yep. just twenty six. So, Buckshot. I think I could have done. That. I could have gone the other way. Yeah. Well. Yeah. The, I, so I, the the Trek will take a twenty six by five too. So it well, just doesn't come stock that way. Of, I, I I thought I had a baby. Fat. I already owned a pair of Dillingers. In twenty six inch by five, so now you're bragging. That was a five hundred dollar. I'm not gonna, you know, yeah, yeah five hundred dollars in tires. So. Cool. Um, yeah, at, so yeah, so I like it. Um, um, anyway, yeah, good, good on track with this one. And um, I did you look at their website pictures? I'm trying to figure out where those um, those ice cave photos are from it, they look a little like maybe washburn but i'm thinking maybe they're they're the up yeah i'm not sure it, it, can, it, it they definitely found snow somewhere yeah it but like the thing that like i can see i, I i'm thinking they're the up but i can see if you look on their opening page for the farley 
It's got a picture of a guy riding inside an ice cage, shot silhouette from inside, looking out. And you can see right across the bay, you can see the shore on the opposite side, which sounds a lot like Schwamigan Bay, but I'm, we don't have that big ice caves there. You so, say Schwamigan um, so nicely. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So no, of, honestly, I, that, I just cannot pronounce heat, that right? goddamn that's word. Like, Speaking of Shawamagon, uh, up, there, oh, up there in the forest area, you've got the fat bike Berkey coming up this weekend. We we do indeed. We do indeed. What, and are, what, it, what are people going to find? Be, uh, <laughs> I, they're going to find really, really good conditions. Um, so let me, let me just pull open the, the dumb Apple weather app. So this is. Take it, take it for what it's worth. But they're saying high of 20 overnight lows in the teens Friday and Saturday night and highs in the upper 20s. So given the base, the massively thick, super compact base that we have and temperatures not going up above into, you know, the belt zone, it's going to be fast this year. It's going to be blazing fast. Blazing is fast. Yeah, I, well, that's I good would, to hear. I, if, if it were me, I mean, I, I ride Dillinger's all winter long just because you just hit it. Just old guy oh, insurance. Studded Dillinger's, right? Yeah, times. studded, studded Dillinger's. Studded well, Dillinger's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, you, I just even like that unstudded Dillinger are fun. Just a ding ding. They ding, are. Ding. are you, I would, I would ride studded tires, but um, I don't think you'll have to. I think it. We're. we're we're forecast right now. We're getting like some light flurries. We're forecast to get, you know, maybe a couple of inches of snow between now and the um, and the uh, the race. So that'll take that fresh snow will take the edge off any um, compacted icy spots on on the course. So I think it's going to be blazing fast. Maybe record times this year. Awesome. Do you know we got six inches of snow, right? No, it was no, nine. It, it was rain. It was nine. It was nine inches of rain. Nobody knows what we're going to get. Nine inches of I just rain. Had to throw it by the way, there was a there, there's an I, event I, coming I, down here, a, a weather event, but nobody knows what it's actually going right. to be. It's two to twenty. Two to twenty. Speaking yes. of uh, Apple weather, you opened your app. I. Down here, for some reason, at least on my phone, the radar rarely works properly. I'm yeah, well, because you drink pissed. the apple juice, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, Michael pre-gamed into a, a, abusing the host zone. What? You will be reprimanded after the show. Whatever. <laughs> He's just saying what everyone's thinking. <laughs> So, Dave, are you uh, are you ready to talk a little bit about your upcoming project with the podcast yet? Yeah, I I think so. You know, I mean, I really do want. So, I for if you guys hadn't heard, I I I, I texted Greg um, the logo. That's the first, that's how everything in my mind starts. An idea, and then the next comes next comes the logo. Um, so I, I've been, I've been listening to, you know, I ride by myself up here all the time and, um, and half the time I ride, I'm listening to podcasts. If I'm going for a, you know, a three hour bike ride, I'm going to be listening to a podcast or two for part of that. If I'm going for a, you know, an hour ride, I, I just don't, but, but when I'm out for a long time by myself, I like to listen to podcasts and cycling podcasts are great, but, um, I, I've been very like meh about all the bike packing podcasts because all they do is talk about these ultra races, which like after I've listened to my third person that's ridden, you know, uh, done a FKT on the AZT, you know, yeah. I'm just sort of like, that's, that's not what I'm into. I'm into like accessible adventure and, you know, and then, <laughs> you know, I like to talk about gear once in a while and hear, you know, oh, I tried this new tent or, you know, or, and I like to know a route. I don't want to redo this. Oh, they switched this section of the AZT this year, or this, there's a section of the Colorado trail that moved, you know, five miles. Uh, I would rather find out about a new route up by, you know, Grand Marais or, or, you know, in Marquette that I don't know about. And, and that doesn't seem to exist in the podcasting world. So, 
I have been talking to uh, another bike packing buddy of mine, Shane Hitz, who lives in the Wausau area, and his Warsaw? work schedule just switched to yeah, just switched to three twelves. So he's got four days off a week now. And I'm like, Shane, you know, we could do a, a video podcast together about our bikepacking routes and gear reviews and some gravel racing in the winter, some fat bike stuff. And, uh, you know, we could just do it together. And like, I could drive, if we did it once a month, I could drive to Wausau one time and he could drive here awesome. one time. We could do it out in a sauna, you know, a rental sauna. We could, sauna. you know, we could do it from the back sauna. of the sawmill saloon. We could do it from the whistle punk cafe, ah, you know, and just talk about. You go. So do, do you have a roadcaster so, for audio podcasting? I don't. Okay. Um, Shit. Ben Welnick was always willing to lend me any of his like Tascam recording things, his little portable units that he had um right on but so so in order to make in order for me to do this though i don't want it to be super complicated i'd really like it to to be both video and audio so kind of, you're the expert yeah. greg yeah oh you know, I'm gonna greg's the expert next week and yeah, well, he is, dude. He is. Look <laughs> so, at him. Oh, I mean, no, no, well, he is blushing. And you in know, front of a, well, you he know, actually is blushing. You're in just front bringing of us. the, right. you're bringing no, the he's color. totally blushing. Yeah. So he's I, blushing. He's but you blushing. know, you know me, I'm the laziest podcaster that is out there. I don't want to do any more work than the is absolutely am, necessary. So as long as you, <laughs> right. you know, yeah, as long as, well, you're going to probably plan a little better than we do, but I don't want to do eight to 10 hours of post just to get the thing done. There's, it's not really what I, <laughs> I want to do. So, I don't either. So I'm tangent. debating how to do this and I want to, I want to talk to you about it. And, um, you know, I mean, in my ideal world, it would basically be like one of those videos that I, you know, occasionally put together for life above eight where I just record a video and I occasionally stuff in a different little chunk of footage or a you know, a, a route or something like that, or some stills and that's it, you know, it, and it seems like that black magic, that, uh, switcher that you've got and you've got the upgraded one that even allows you to store photos and some, does some transitions and stuff. That might be the easiest way to go rather than like one of those software platforms. Absolutely. Yeah. But I'm not opposed I'm not opposed to a software platform if it was also stupid easy. Um, but then it's you're just, also tied to somebody's platform, yeah, you know, right. and if that goes south, you're kind of screwed. And it, so, and software always has more problems than hardware. So, well, you know, well, yeah. you, you can well. like, like we used to use in the beginning Ow. of the, <laughs> in Sorry. the beginning Come of down the, here with weed. in the beginning of the old show, the very first fat bike, uh, weekly dose of fat. We started out using just something simple like Audacity, and we did a few shows, few shows, oh, and then shit, one yeah. time yeah, something happened bad. to Audacity, and it didn't, it didn't work. You know, it just kind of right. blew our podcast. So we wasted a whole show, and it didn't do what it was supposed to do. So obviously, one thing is backup. You can make sure you back this stuff up somehow while you're doing it, so you have at least, you know, the video part you'll be right. able to I mean, see, I've but the. At- I've done a quick look at like Riverside, um, which is kind of like a video podcast app. And, but again, if, and I'm sort of tied to their streaming thing, I'm tied to all their stuff. Yep. They want, they want you, they want Um, your whole, your whole being. Yeah. Pod being all those ones. Like I would rather, and I would rather do it just with hardware. um, Oh, I thought uh, you were going to say something more deep. Cool. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> so hopefully yeah. you'll be down here in a week or so, and we can Nash kind of, kind of start to plot out the overtaking of the bike packing podcast world. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was thinking about it too in terms of like you're talking about setting up a, a podcast studio and stuff like that. Like, man, it'd be nice if there were like regional or area or like like if the city of hayward had a had a podcast studio you know uh um, hey. you know that you could just 
go use, you know, uh, that sort of thing. Um, I mean, I do like the idea of having a lightweight uh, kit that you can go on location. And if you're doing a video podcast and you can, you know, be in different spots, but having that base camp would be pretty nice. You know what it sounds like? We need you know, a, we need a grant. We need a grant writer to do a, to do like a nonprofit studio and, uh, just kind of do a, right. Yeah. Have obviously multiple people coming in and using it. And I do like the idea of having a base camp yeah, plus also totally. a remote rig because I got my remote rig so small now, which I haven't really been using yet much, but it's, it's small. It's small. It's great. It's, it's tiny. You can take it on your bike. No problem. Yeah. Small, small. S M. Yeah, well, but that's just for audio, right? Four channel. Right? Um, but, oh yeah, well, it is but, just it's, for but audio. it's geared towards doing it with just like an iPhone or maybe two iPhones, and it's oh. got lights and it's got audio and everything. It's all. Oh. It's like oh. pretty die, and it fits in a bag. I've that's seen like those like vlogger. I've seen those ah. vlogger kits. Yeah, where, I'm not sure you know, I, where you, set, you clamp an iPhone to a tripod and it's got like a little light that sticks to it and i've seen those things too um but i've already got the sony gear and stuff so i just need cords to plug things in uh, you know i've got big led lights I, i've got almost everything except that switchboard and maybe a, a microphone and some cables yeah um you know right so i don't need that much i don't need that much either. yeah <laughs> uh, but yeah just, so i'm looking forward to so. coming down i'm hoping to come down like uh cool. Tuesday or Wednesday. All Tuesday right. Well, Wednesday. keep us posted, and if you're here on a and Wednesday, we can Wednesday. we can stuff you into the into the, the white the, the room eight foot by eight foot by eight foot curtains. cube that we call the white room with black curtains. White studio. room yeah. with black curtains. <laughs> apparently, they yeah. Are less and I have not been to your your neighborhood <laughs> uh, brewery. Oh no. Well, actually, oh, also we, worth we could, visiting. We could possibly do the show over there too, just in case yeah. we needed to have just easy keep it access. Right. Uh, we could just pop over for a pop over for a beer. It's yeah. really uh, far away, just, man. Yeah, just a beer. Oh, and it's and really and far out. away. You got to like basically make it through the parking lot. All right, yeah. Yeah. All right, well keep us posted, Dave. Thanks for the update. Appreciate the uh, uh, uh hit, hit. Did you guys already get to the top of the hill? Am I Oh, we did. I, oh, a long time you ago. Can, you yeah. can tell yeah. us what you're doing. Oh. Oh, sorry. I signed in. I signed in a little bit late. Yeah, yeah. We were there early because I, of all the all the other hills that were were written be, before. So what, are you guys, what are you guys got going on? Uh, <laughs> Zombie ice. Yes, from Three, Three Floyd's. Floyd's. It's a it's a double. Oh. Double, uh, IP, double, IP. double IPA something something with eight point eight point five as stuffs. Yeah, it's bad. Or yeah. Great. Yeah. Oh, it's great in a bad way. I, I, I was tempted at the, the grocery store beer aisle by uh, a, a dogfish head um, mix pack um, with horrible. a bunch of different stuff in it. One of which was one twenty. Now, I like a fish. ninety minute. Oh, ninety imperial. Good. Yep, yep. That's a imperial. great beer. So it's nine percent, but the fact that it's an imperial takes the edge off of that sort of stomach churning hops that sometimes the dogfish had has. I love their flavor, but sometimes like it's like a punch in the gut. They're so hoppy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wonder if the 90 minute but means you're in, only supposed to drink one every 90 minutes. Nine point whatever. <laughs> 9%. Yeah. All right. Uh, you gotta, well, we you have a take your time. We got a calamity here, so you guys aren't that calamity. we're gonna we're gonna you let you go, Dave. Thanks very much for calling in, and okay. uh, we'll talk to you hopefully right, next guys. week. All right, thanks, Dave. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye, boys. All right. Well, I just yeah. What? Here. Well, it was getting on SD cards Oops, and stuff. That was bad. There's a little little bit little spillage, little spillage here. All right, everybody. Well, you know, thanks, Dave, because uh, there was some. Thanks, stuff. Dave. And uh, I thanks, think Tony. Say Tony. Well, well, uh, All right. One other thing I want to mention is uh, in the show notes there is a listing of a bunch of stuff that I have posted on the eBay in case you want to find some stuff. And we're trying to keep the shop going for just another 
couple of weeks before the season breaks. So see if there's anything on there that interests you. And hopefully Mr. Schlebowski will be here next curated week. curated it. Carefully curated. All right. Well. I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? Yes. It, da, 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 da. Hey, oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> thank you, everybody. <laughs> we'll be here next <laughs> week. <laughs> likely. <laughs> maybe, you should listen, maybe you should listen to the show once in a while. Once in a while. <laughs> Au revoir.